This video and this channel are brought to you thanks to my sponsors via Patreon. Please support my work by becoming a patron and see how you can be rewarded. You want to pretend to be a hero? You don't stand a chance without a quirk, Deku. <laughs> well, main character's dead, show's over. Good night, everybody! An extraordinary child was born who radiated light. After that, reports of people with superpowers popped up across the globe. No one knew what was causing these quirks. Before long, the supernatural became the totally normal. Dreams are reality. The world became a superhuman society, with about 80% of the population possessing some uncanny ability. And here come a million think pieces from a bunch of cynical contrarians who are talking about how a world like this is so problematic and terrible because of the inclusion of superpowers, but in actuality is frickin' awesome! Heroes. Oh, nice! Way to go, Death Arms! The punching hero! I wish I had a quirk that made me super strong! Everyone, please stay back! This area is far too dangerous! Whoa, the rescue specialist Backdraft is here? He'll make sure we're okay! They all have the over-the-top superhero names and outfits too! Oh my gosh, I love this world even more. It's like the show was made for me. Brains out. Another villain. I'm not sure when I'm gonna make it into the office. <laughs> I love how you could use supervillain attacks as a valid excuse as to why you're late for work. Wow, looks like Groot got the full Animu makeover. Wanna bet he looks Bishonin like hell underneath that mask? Robbery and the illegal use of powers during rush hour traffic. You are the incarnation of evil. Dude, he's a petty thief. Incarnation of evil is a bit much. He's not the Dark One. Or Orange Hitler. Hottest hero. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mount Lady. And you don't have to worry about this bum anymore. We get it, Japan. You are very, 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 very sexually frustrated and perverted. And no, I don't care about the cultural politics behind all of this. This is a scene where a bunch of guys are taking pictures of a woman's butt and chanting money shot. Do not pretend that this is normal. People started performing heroic acts to keep our city safe, protecting us against villains who abused their powers for evil. With overwhelming public support, heroes found an official place as peacekeepers overseen by the government. Those who performed the best were paid the most and got all the fame and glory. Their careers depended on their ability to stay in the spotlight. Well, that shouldn't be hard because people will give their attention to anything so long as you slap a bum on the cover. Also, that is a grossly flawed compensation system. These are superheroes who respond to crimes and crises, not street performers. The next thing you know, you're gonna have our superhero reality TV show- oh. What's that, fanboy? You taking notes over there? Wanna be a hero too, huh? Uh, yes, more than anything. Well, kid, you have a few options. You could travel the world, train with martial arts masters from around the globe, build yourself an Iron Man suit, or inject yourself with some super soldier serum. Hey, Teach. Don't let me in with this bunch of losers. I'm the real deal, but these guys will be lucky to end up as sidekicks to some busted D-lister. <laughs> I'm the only one at this school who stands a chance at getting in. I'll end up more popular than All Might himself. And be the richest hero of all time! People all across the world will know who I am! And it all starts with you, a High! Well, this kid is gonna be a supervillain in the future. Huh? Don't tell me you're taking notes on how to be a hero. That's so pathetic! <laughs> He's delusional! <laughs> yeah, real funny, guys! Just give it back! <laughs> That's so mean! <laughs> I'm all for characters having a massive ego, but seriously, this guy is a frickin' bully. 
Now I bet I'm gonna get a bunch of rhetoric about how Izuku just needs to have a tougher skin. Fire Hands deserves to get expelled. Let's see how he gets into a superhero school then. I can't believe it! <laughs> Look! He's got more! <laughs> Zack Snyder and Henry Cavill wish their Superman was this awesome. Then again, that's comparing a five-star meal to a still half-frozen watery TV dinner. Sorry, kid, it's not gonna happen. Well, time to drop the kid into a vat of radioactive sludge. Hey, worked great for Ron Wilson, bus driver. You see, when superpowers first began appearing, there were many research studies conducted, and doctors discovered a link between the bones in a person's foot and their likelihood of developing a quirk. People with powers have only one joint in their pinky toes. Their bodies have evolved into a more streamlined version of the human form. <laughs> That's your reasoning? You guys just didn't want to do the X-Gene route, didn't you? <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this kid. I'm sorry, Izuku. I wish things were different. Mom, that's not what I needed you to say. Couldn't you see? My world was crumbling. There was only one thing I wanted to hear. <laughs> um, excuse me. I need a moment. You'll make a perfect skin suit for me to hide in, kid. Don't worry, I'm just taking over your body. It'll be easier for both of us if you don't fight back. It'll only hurt for a minute. You'll feel better soon. Yeah. <sighs> This is almost as bad as that time in Batman Beyond where Ink tried to kill Terry by shoving herself into his mouth. Ugh. Texas Smash! I can't pull together. Okay, someone needs to show Zack Snyder and Dan DiDio this scene now. This is how you make a hero look intimidating, but still awe-inspiring, courageous, amazing, and just plain heroic. Well, it looks like you're moving around all right. Sorry about that back there. I didn't mean to get you caught up in my justicing. Usually I pay more attention to keeping bystanders safe, but it turns out this city sewer system is pretty difficult to navigate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, this guy looks freaking intimidating, yet he has such a hearty and lovable personality, he cares about bystanders, he's so cartoonishly over-the-top super campy, and is so awe-inspiring and magnificent that I'm sure Zack Snyder and Didio are crying right now and they don't know why. All Might, this is what obsessive fanboys do. You give them an inch, they take a mile. Sometimes I do feel like I'm a failure. Like there's no hope for me. But even so, I'm not gonna give up. Ever. Is it possible to become a hero even if I don't have a quirk? I'm a normal kid without any powers. Could I ever hope to be someone like you? Wait, are there only super-powered heroes in this world? No tech-based heroes or martial arts-based heroes in this world? 
That would explain Bomb for Brain's attitude towards Izuku, or Izuku's insecurity. Well, time for this kid to become the first Batman or Iron Man. And here come the inevitable billion think pieces about how superpower people are so bad and how non-superpower people are so much better, thus twisting the idea of you can be a superhero too with or without special powers and taking it the wrong way and forgetting it's about a person's character that matters. Then talk about how unrelatable superpower people are and how so relatable, whatever the frack that word means this week, non-superpower people are by default. Yeah, you know who you are, you pretentious little-